Hey everybody, Alex Terrace, healthhacksreview.com. So I had to do this video because here was another really unique sauna design. Um, and so I wanted to kind of highlight this for you all watching at home. So, you know, what's unique about this sauna behind me is that it solves a couple different problems that people have. Um, and one is budget. They still want a really high grade quality sauna, but don't want to spend a lot of money. And the, the simple fact about it is when you get a larger sauna, it takes larger construction, more parts. Of course, it's going to cost a little bit more. Uh, number two is that not everybody has a lot of space. They just don't want a big sauna. Um, even a one person might be a little too big. They're thinking maybe I'll do a portable sauna, but you know, getting a good portable sauna is a challenge in its own right. And again, you're welcome to ask me if you, if you need some portable recommendations. Uh, but you know, they don't want to quite go that way either. They don't want something to stand out too much. Um, so as you can kind of see behind me, just standing up to this sauna, is this thing is just about my height and I'm about 5'9". So right then and there, we know that this sauna is definitely a lot shorter than your average sauna height. So that's one thing to note. The other thing, and this, by the way, is uh, kind of like a, uh, a miniature version almost of like a one person sauna. So it is definitely, sometimes a little hard to tell on camera, that's why I'm standing up next to it, but it is a little bit smaller than a one person sauna. Uh, the other thing too is immediately you'll notice that this sauna actually has put the door on the corner. So on the side wall in the front corner, really unique. Nobody else really does that. Um, so what's the point of doing that? Well, the point of doing that is that if we're in the sauna right here, that allows us actually to have a front emitter in front of you. So traditionally with one person saunas, you have a big glass door in front of you and there's generally no emitter in front of you. So, uh, and by the way, you might not be able to see this, but there is actually a glass window in front. So it's great. You feel like there's space. Um, but yeah, there's a huge carbon emitter right in front of you. So that can be used on this wall. And then we can just put the door off here. Kind of makes common sense when you think about it, right? Why not just put the door off to the side where you're not going to be kind of sitting anyways. So probably some of you are wondering, by the way, um, does this wall have a carbon emitter? Um, yeah, actually, even though it is a smaller portion of the wall, um, there's a little carbon emitter right here next to me. So basically, I can be sitting in here and I can be surrounded 360 degrees, front, sides, and back, beneath, here, all with infrared emitters. So it gets pretty intense in here, which is great. Um, so I think it's just such a unique sauna um, because of the dimensions, because we're going 360 degrees with infrared around it. Um, you don't have to spend a lot because it's just on a smaller side. Still great quality. I just want to touch on one other important point is that I found with quality brands, and it's not too common in the industry, not very many brands actually use the same wood type all the way through the sauna. So if a company isn't saying, hey, you know, here's a 100% basswood sauna or 100% hemlock sauna or 100% poplar sauna or aspen or whatever it is. Chances are they're actually using a softer wood in between in the actual frame. And simply they're doing that just because it's actually a way to lower their costs. Um, and in many cases, it, you know, it might be a, a question of a durability issue long term. It just really depends on what other wood they're using in there. Um, but I wanted to point that out that uh, it's just another feature of this brand. I know that for a fact they're, they're at least using the same wood type all the way through. They'll tell you it's 100% the wood type through. If you're looking for just better quality brands that are doing those types of practices, um, I've done a lot of research and that's just one of the many aspects you really want to look at. And again, a company that's willing to spend more money, well generally you'll find that they're just also be willing to spend more money on additional things in their sauna to try to bring something uh, to you in a better quality. So if any, if you ever have any questions about the construction or what might be in other different types of brands, um, I've definitely done a lot of that research already. So be happy to answer your questions. You can find me on healthhacksreview.com and you can ask your questions there, chat with me anytime. And if you have any other video ideas in terms of other things that you want me to research with sauna brands, you can reach out to me also, leave some comments in the description of the YouTube video below. And give me a thumbs up if you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.